Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you love smoked turkey legs, you're going to love smoked turkey necks. They taste just the same, just a little less meat on the bone. I thought I would go so full in today's video and cook some smoked turkey necks, mash uh, sweet potatoes, cabbage, and we'll just have to see what else I'm going to whip up in this tiny kitchen of mine. All right, let's get into it. The smoked turkey necks, I'm going to cook for about two hours in my slow cooker. So I'm going to go ahead and get those started and then I will chop up the rest of the ingredients. Have you guys ever had smoked turkey necks before? Um, they taste just like... They taste just like smoked turkey legs with a little less meat on the bone. They are delicious. And I like buying them because I can get them in my crock pot. I love turkey legs, but I can't fit them in my small pot. So if you do have a larger cooker, you can go ahead and cook the turkey legs. Um, but for me, the turkey necks works best in my slow cooker. I've already rinsed them off so if you follow my channel long enough you know that I don't like meat on my hands so I'm just using these little uh, crampers here to um, pick up the meat with I'm seasoning my meat with garlic salt, black pepper, and onion powder. I'm using a less than one-fourth uh, teaspoon of seasoning. These are smoked turkey legs, so they have a lot of flavor. So I don't want to overpower it by adding too much seasoning to it. Someone left a comment uh, mentioning that I can pick up some gloves from the Dollar Tree. Um, I believe there's a hundred in a pack for one dollar. Thank you for sharing that tip. The next time I go to the Dollar Tree, I have to pick some up. Because I just don't like touching meat. <laughs> I don't like meat. Uh-oh. Turn off my light. Okay. I don't like having meat on uh, my hands. I got that seasoned, um, rubbed in. These are smoked turkey necks, so it already has a lot of flavor to it. In the pot, I have about a half a cup of water. I'm going to cook them on high for about two hours. So while those turkey necks are cooking, I'm going to take a short break and answer some comments from Sunday's video. I did a cleaning video part one and I need to respond to some of those comments as well as process some sticker orders. So I'm going to come back in about... Um, maybe about an hour and a half for you guys it's only going to be about 30 seconds but i'm going to come back and then start working on the rest of my meal Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, I am back. I'm going to start on the sweet potatoes and then I am going to cook my cabbage. I'm going to do the sweet potatoes first because it takes a little bit longer to cook than the cabbage. For the cabbage, it only takes about 15 minutes for it to cook. So I'm going to start on those potatoes first. Another bag. I got a few orders processed. So thank you to everyone that purchased my stickers. I really appreciate it. So I got those orders processed. I answered a few comments. Yeah. I was going to ask you guys, have you ever cooked turkey necks? Uh, if so, comment below and let me know how you season yours. I keep turning off my light and I need all the light in here. So for the um, sweet potato, all I'm going to do is add some water to the pot i'm not going to add anything else to it no salt or anything like that so just the water let that boil and then i add all the ingredients afterwards ah! <laughs> there went my onion i have to pick that up and wash it again did you guys enjoy the cleaning video i had so much stuff to clean and get rid of it feels nice having a decluttered home so i got that potato peeled oh, cut out the way. Ah. <laughs> i don't want to lose my turkey necks i probably should have put this crock pot on the on the dining dining room table Ooh, 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 hot, 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 hot. Whoa. <laughs> I don't want to lose my turkey next. Okay. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to cook for Thanksgiving. I've been thinking about that, oh my God, for probably about a month now. I have a few ideas, but... I don't know what meat I'm going to cook. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I got that all done. I need... It can be hard cutting these potatoes, so I'm getting a bigger knife. All I'm doing is chopping them up. What up? I move this because I got a feeling it's going to roll away. <laughs> I've already washed it so it's clean. I don't want it to roll away like the onion did. So I'm just chopping this into chunks. So that it doesn't take as long to cook. And hopefully it'll be done. Um, by the time the cabbage is done. Is everyone having a good fall so far? The temperatures are just starting to cool off. Not much, which has been nice because it's been so hot. It's been very hot. And we all know I'm not a summer person. Oh, I wanted to say thank you again to um, everyone that came out to my uh, Texas meet and greet. It was so great meeting you guys. I had about 16 people that came out. So thank you so much for the love and the support. I didn't mention um, after the Albuquerque meet and greet, but I did have a couple of ladies that came out. Thank you so much for um, coming out. It's great always meeting you all. And I'm excited about my uh, Florida meet and greet. I have, I'm having two meet and greets in Florida, one in Tampa and one in Orlando. So I'm looking forward to meeting everyone. And I split it up into two because there's, um, I had so many people to confirm and I want to make sure that everyone has a chance to get their questions answered and spend some time um, chatting with me. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so on these potatoes, I am chopping them up pretty small so they don't take as long to cook. And they don't have to be perfect because again, we're making mashed sweet potatoes. I think this is small as I'm gonna chop them. Well, I see a few more pieces that needs to be chopped. 
have you guys thought about what you're cooking for Thanksgiving? It seems like soon as Halloween is over, um, Thanksgiving and Christmas is here before you know it. So I'm trying to get that menu together. Okay, so that's as small as I'm going to chop it. Let me move my cabbage. I don't want that to roll away. Ah, 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 ah. I'm making a mess here. I'm making a mess. So let me. So I'm just going to rinse this off really well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hot, 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 hot. I gotta make it work in this tiny kitchen. <laughs> I have to make it work. Was heavy the smell of propane is so pungent it is loud so for the sweet potato I am going to add in about a cup and I'm gonna use fresh water because I don't want to keep moving that crock pot right. I'm going to let the sweet potatoes cook until they're tender um, whenever I press them with a fork. So I'm going to give them about 15 minutes, go ahead and chop up the cabbage, and then come back and see how they're doing. I'm not going to add anything to the sweet, sweet potatoes until the end. Yep. Alright. I got to find this onion. So the cabbage is only going to take about 15 minutes to cook. We don't want to boil the cab cabbage, we want it to, to simmer. So I'm going to chop it up. <laughs> okay, I'm putting my onion here so it doesn't roll away again. Chunk out that hard piece. Looks like there's quite a few. We'll toss that out as well. Alright. This bad boy. So that the cabbage doesn't take as long to cook, I am chopping it up into smaller pieces. It may not all fit in my little skillet so that's why you see me tossing out some of the bigger pieces I try to get the smallest cabbage um, so that I'm not wasting but I don't have the uh, skillet big enough to cook it in I got that chopped up I don't have any room <laughs> on my cutting board for the onion so let me see if I can get all this to move over And I did wash my onion, so it is clean. You can boil the turkey necks in a pot, but I like to slow cook them in the uh, crock pot until they're falling off the bone. Let me set that to the side. And I'm adding, <laughs> my hands is gonna smell like onions. Ugh. I got a stink. Yucky, yucky. Yucky, yucky. I washed the, hand, the onions off my hands off camera. <laughs> so you guys, I'm like, she got onions? No, I don't. All right. So we don't want to boil the cabbage. We want to slow simmer it. We're going to cook it for about 15 minutes. 
and I'm going to add some onion powder, black pepper. I don't have any bacon bits or I would add some of that to it. Um, if you do like spicy foods, you can add jalapeno juice or a few jalapeno peppers. And you can also do that with the turkey necks to kick it up a notch. Okay, I'm adding one cup of water. And then I have my seasons in the bowl. I have black pepper, onion powder, and salt. So after I add the seasoning, I'm going to add in some olive oil, or you can use vegetable oil. And then I'm going to put the butter on top. Go ahead and add in my onions. And you can chop these up if you want to and make them smaller. I'm going with the larger size of the onions. Ah, everything is falling. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get as much as I can in this spot here. And then I have here about a half a teaspoon of butter that I'm just gonna add to the top. My ingredients is falling out. <laughs> okay. And then go ahead and cover that with a lid. And we're going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes. I need to get this onions off my hand. Actually, I'm going to add the rest of this oil because I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm going to add the rest of the oil to it. Ah, I'm losing my food. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get all this clean up. I'll be back. Yeah. Guess it'll help if I turn on the burner. <laughs> that might help. So those potatoes, those sweet potatoes are boiling nicely. Ooh, making a mess. And then I just started the cabbage. And once it starts cooking, I have more room in the skillet.
they're done yeah they're done all right so i'm gonna take the water off of that and then i'm going to mix in my ingredients yep cabbage need about 10 more minutes and then i got my dishes washed and they are drying all right those turkey necks are almost done i'm going to give them about 20 more minutes We'll be in business. My sweet potatoes are complete, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on those. And then the cabbage, I'm going to go ahead and turn off because it is done. And just let it sit here in the skillet. For the potatoes, move this out the way. We're just going to go ahead and mash those up. I've already drained the water off of them. And all I'm going to add in is a teaspoon of brown sugar and butter. And then I'm going to taste it and see if I need to add anything else. Scrape in my pan. So let me get one of my soft spoons. All right. So all you want to do is just mix it up really well. I'm going to do a taste test and see if there's anything else that we need. So let's see. Mm. Okay, that's delicious. I just need to add some more brown sugar. Just a little. No more butter, but more brown sugar. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding a half a teaspoon of brown sugar. And then I'm going to do another taste test. I'm uh, rocking my camera. Do another taste test to see how that tastes. All right, let me stir it up. I cooked my sweet potatoes a little longer than I planned. I had a lot going on. I was trying to get those dishes washed and clean. All right. Let me try that again. Let's see. Mm. Okay, that's it. That's delicious. Tastes really good. Really good. Uh-oh, somebody's calling me. And I need to take this phone call. So hold on just a second. <laughs> I had to hop off and take that phone call. Um, but my sweet potatoes are done. Of course, the cabbage is done. I decided that I'm going to make some cornbread. So I'm going to whip that up and then put my plate together. As far as the sweet potatoes, the only thing that I add was the brown sugar and um, butter. Normally, I add a little bit of milk, but because I cooked the sweet potatoes so long, so I didn't need to add any milk. So I won't add that. Okay. All right. Let me... I'll come back once I start on the cornbread, but I got to take the cabbage and all that stuff out the skillet. Yeah. Before I start on the cornbread, I need to put some of these dishes, some of this food away, so I have room to work. Uh, let me see. Hold on my cabbage. And put my cabbage in here for now because I need this container. I need this to cook the cornbread in. So let me just set that to the side. Keep it hot. Those sweet potatoes are really good. Delicious. There's a link in the description box for these containers as well as the pots and pans and my mic set. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description box.
I have this cornbread and I'm going I'm following the directions I'm following the mixing directions precisely as they are in the box I got a mixing bowl And there's also a link in the description box for the mixing bowls that I'm using. Sorry for all the noise. I know this. Yeah. I was gonna use this green bowl, but I can see that cornbread going all over the place. Let's try that again. <laughs> so we're gonna mix it precisely. So I'm gonna add my egg. I can get it okay. One egg. I took it's my trash. One egg. Cornbread. The box called for one third cup of milk. Of course, I didn't measure my milk. I'm gonna just pour it in. I want to mix those eggs in before I start adding the milk. Too much milk crap that's what I get <laughs> I had just a little bit too much milk but I'm not gonna open up another bag of cornbread it's okay all right just gonna mix it up <coughs> excuse me that should do it I added too much milk so my cornbread is a little watery. I don't have another box, at least I don't think I do. So, it's going to, it's going to be okay. All right, let me move this out the way. I need the lid. I don't want this milk to go to waste. <laughs> so I'm gonna drink it. So I'm gonna drink it. All right. Let's see. Vegetable oil. Okay. You just want to lightly coat the bottom of the skillet. And then I'm gonna let that heat up. out my door I need oh 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 I'm burning I'm burning up stuff okay let me stop because I'm burning up stuff I'm doing too much I'm about to set my van on fire. I'm doing too much. I'm trying to clean up um, as I go. And my dish towel got burnt. Not good. Okay. So with the cornbread, you're just... So with the cornbread, you're just frying it for about five minutes on both sides. Where's my, where's my
it on the other side. I'm going to try that again. I'm not going to eat that. Okay. Two times the charm, right? It's gotten smoky in here. <laughs> I have this window open over here. I had to close that one up. We'll try it again. My van is leaning, so all of the oil is shifted to one side. I'm not leveled. It's okay. I'm checking on it to make sure I do not burn it up this time. Okay. I can see it's getting a little brown on the bottom, so I'm going to let that cook for about one more minute. I'm going to freeze the rest of this cornbread mix and have it for a different day. mopping my floor with my foot. I waste some water. So I'm trying to get that all cleaned up. Perfect. me for dinner <laughs> I have more turkey necks to share it is time to grub mm -hmm. yum all right guys so that wraps up today's video I hope that you enjoy being back in my kitchen it is always a pleasure having you here I appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in today as always thank you so much for your support I'll see you in the next video bye I wanted to mention before I forget, um, I do have buttons on the website for those of you that requested buttons. Those are now available on the website. And then I just wanted to thank everyone that has already placed a sticker order. I have those processed and they are going in the mail tomorrow morning. So yeah, thank you guys so much. For please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.